to win streak and how we would beat Hama Life and just the introduction of yourself and how you feel. Um, I am the head coach of uh, Sandbox, Yamaro Kennen. I feel good, very, very good uh, beating Hama Life. I don't think, uh, you know, should be brushed off because they're losing a lot of games. They are a team with players that are doing their best and they have a coaching staff and every game is a challenge. So I'm proud of the boys for showing a good game and uh, the sky is the limit. So after we beat Team Dynamics, there has been a term Yamato Magic. And so do you, are you aware of this and what do you think about it? Yeah, I've uh, seen some of the Yamato uh, Magic memes. I think it's, uh, it's funny. But it's uh, all hard work. Uh, the players' hard work, my hard work, everyone's working hard. That's the magic. So we had the first very bad five games, and after now we're starting to turn it around in the, these two games. So yeah. when you first met the players, what did you address and what were you stressing that is important for them to do? I think the key thing is, um, you know, over time when you lose a lot of matches, a lot of frustration can be built up. And uh, when I arrived at the house, I stressed that. Uh, now it's time for a new beginning, because often when you fall into holes, when you lose a lot of games, you tend to not be able to change because everyone has assumptions about you. And uh, I wanted to give every player an opportunity to reinvent themselves. Uh, they saw the video from Sandbox YouTube, and then they saw you changing the seat position as soon as you arrived on the, our practice room, our scrim mm -hmm. room. And then so he wants to know why. Oh. That's a secret. It's like the special sauce of uh, some Korean barbecue place or maybe some fried chicken place. I can't reveal my special sauce. So since Root, uh, last uh, January, he was playing really bad and was falling into a slump. And on fleek also last season was playing really bad. So what did you say to them? What did, what did you stress that they do to right now? Because they are seeming like they're coming back. Well, I think the key thing is that uh, the community is aware, I'm aware, they are aware that uh, it's in them. They have uh, a lot of potential and I don't think it's just lost out of nowhere. It's just about uh, making sure all the pieces fall in the right place. And uh, it ties together with uh, the whole restart that we did, uh, making sure that uh, I can push the players to become what they want to be, but at the same time uh, try to fulfill their maximum potential and sometimes teams, maybe they have one big problem and all of a sudden five players look terrible uh, and you fix that one problem and all of a sudden everything looks good. I think it's easy to underestimate uh, you know, how much one issue can scatter throughout the team. And uh, Now we're doing better and better because we're working uh, together to solve every problem that comes up because problems are natural in any type of relationship. So now we have uh, as, uh, Sarah on Prince and we have KT on next and then uh, we're starting to be look better. So do you think uh, how far can we go? Do you think we can make good results? Yeah, I um, say the same. My goal is to, to win the LCK and go to the World Championship. Uh, I am not going to limit myself in any way. We can play uh, DRX or T1 or any team you can think of, Samsung White from Season 4, uh, SKT from Season 5, Season 3, any team you want, we're going to play as if we want to win because I think if you do anything less, don't compete. Uh, stay at home and play single player game. Any message you want to say to Sandbox fans? Uh, thank you so much for supporting us. Uh, I can say on good authority that the players are working so, so hard every day and uh, Sandbox is uh, treating me super, super well. They make things uh, very easy for me. I was welcome from day one and uh, I just want you to keep supporting us. Uh, the players and Sandbox uh, really, really deserves it.